This is a questionable reality production. Hello, hello, I'm Xander Crowns, and this is AP Post History. Now let's get started. Today we'll be covering topic 5.4, life under Fiberman rule. The invasion had passed like a turbulent rainstorm and left the world flooded with Fibermen. The age of Fibermen would reshape the world, and let's take a look at that here. The first edict of the Fibermen was the evaluation and testing of every human to determine their worth to the regime. Every man, woman, child, and unborn fetus had to sit down and take the Fibermen placement test the FPE. The exam would determine what purpose and function the given individual could and should serve. The test had three parts, a physical exam, a general knowledge section, and lastly, a attitude towards broccoli section. Failure of that last section would see someone end up in the mines far, far away and with no broccoli which I guess they wanted. After the test, people would be split up and properly distributed to where they were needed most and would best succeed by the exam standards. His tests reveal all facets of human character. The Fibermen deemed the Earth would be best for four main prerogatives. The production of sappy dramas and soap operas, living under strange forms of governance, farming of high fibrous foodstuffs, and living in slowly decaying small town. Any person who did not fit into any of these four main prerogatives were shipped off elsewhere to never be seen again or eaten. In fact, let's turn to today's History Makers segment, where Chief Allocation Coordinator 153221 discusses the placement exam. For humanity to be efficient, each human must be allocated towards the means they are most efficient at. Human specimens often get into their inferior computing processors. They would desire to do a task they are not efficient at. They must be redirected. Lest efficiency is to reign, humans that are all around inefficient are only a means of sustenance. Humanity, which you may be surprised to know, found this quite a fine arrangement. With the intense fire of the rebellious soul subdued for a nice pension plan and financial security. In that it was actually quite nice to live under the Fibermen, besides the occasional massacre here and there, but that could be largely forgotten for the aforementioned employment benefits. As long as, of course, you weren't the one being massacred. Really, the only problem was that the Fibermen insisted that the Earthlings abandon all of their traditions and customs and adopt those of their new rulers. This was much less popular because Fiberman culture was a really boring and dry affair, especially compared to the exuberance of humanity. However, those aliens would not let that sticking point ever go, even going so far as to actively enforce and control celebrations with proctors and other cultural events. In fact, we will have a whole topic of Fiberman culture later and soon. Thus, the seeds of unrest and riot began to be sowed in that fertile dirt, which shockingly was amplified by the whole eating of humans and some being shipped off to never be seen again thing, which was not very popular as well. I think it's important to note that Fiberman rule was not altogether good or bad. It was a nuanced time and, well, frankly, it still is, but with refreshing security and stability which helped numb the pain of being conquered. The Fibermen would restore a degree of modernity to the earth, even if they had a tendency to be a bit oppressive and controlling. It was a give and take, and to many people living at that time, it was difficult to choose between which was worse. And that's it! Topic 4 of Unit 5 is complete. If you want to find success in your post-history class, and be allocated efficiently, consider subscribing and liking this video. My goal is to see each and every one of you get a 92 in your class and a 7 on the AP test in Quintober. Alright, Center Crowns, checking out.